Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. So I am max level, but for the um, for the main of it, this is basically going to be for those people who are new at the game. For me to try and help you guys out, um, I play on PC and I play on PS4. I've been playing this game for nearly five years now. And I wanted, so many people keep on asking me what gear should I buy for level 10, what gear should I buy for level 20, level 30, level 5, level 2, level 1. And this video is basically me trying to help you the best way I can in what to do. So here we are, we're spawning here in Lone Star Lake over on the far left there where you can see my, my little guy just here. So I'm going to quickly show you my setups, what I'm going to be using. So this rod, you have to be level 5, which is a Creek Pro 8, 10. And then this reel, again, you have to be level 5. This line, you have to be level 5. And then I brought the open feeder. And then I've also got the mono leader, 2.6 pound, which again, you have to be level 5 for. I'm also using a hook hash 2. The bread and honey, I brought that before coming into the lake. One tip is, is when you're in the lake, you can go to the shop, you can go to baits and it will show you the baits, but it won't show you all the baits that are available for you here. You have to do that at the main menu. So if you've come in here and you haven't brought the bread and honey, leave, go to the main shop, because when you go to the shop, it doesn't show you every single thing. So when I click on rods, it doesn't show you every single rod that is available. It only shows you that when you're at the main home menu. When you're in the actual lake and you go to the shop, you can't buy as many things and it always costs more money so try not to buy stuff there if you are a low level so moving on i've got two of these rods so one there one there these are both level five setups and then i brought a level 10 setup just to show some people who are a level 10 so that's a level 10 rod a level 10 reel level 10 line and then that uh, float there sport bubba is a level 10 and then we have our hook. Now I haven't got any leader on this one. I can put a leader on it, but I'm not going to bother. So here we are spawning down here. I'm going to give you all my best tips that I know after playing this game for five years. I'm going to try and give you the best tips I possibly can. So if you click down on your analog stick, it gives you a further cast rather than it being like this. When it's like this with this with this float rod, it's a shorter cast. You don't get as far of a distance in casting. If you don't know how to change that, as I said, click down on the right analog stick and then now you'll be able to get a further cast like that. So if you don't know, you can always come along to here to the settings. And if you go to mouse, uh, if you go to here, gain, no, wrong one, sorry, there you go. <laughs> if you go to control, it says there, you can click on the right analog stick, it says change cast. Now, if you don't have a controller and you're playing on PC, you can also go into here and then scroll down here and there, there will be a setting there that says change cast and then that will allow you to get that little bit more in distance so anyway here we are spawning down here on the far left now a big little tip which does help quite a lot you'll see this just here this little marker shows a picture of a worm now if you walk up to this little bit of grass here well grass mud um, leaves pile it says press to interact and you can interact with it and it will give you some free red worms for some reason there you go mine was glitching there you go we got some free red worms <laughs> so i'm going to be using some red worms and i'm also going to be using some bread and honey and some semolina balls so we're going to move up to here i have now just moved i'm just going to quickly show you so oh, okay so there you go um click here it's where you want to click to click go fishing and then it will move your location. So I'll show you one more time on the map. That's where we are here. You can also buy premium. I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way. This is just my experience of playing this game for nearly five years. If you click here, premium, you can buy premium here, which I definitely recommend that. Is what premium does, it gives you a boost. So every time you catch a fish by having premium, you have more cash and more XP. If you don't want to spend any money on the game, you can play this game without spending money on it. You don't have to. You can also buy popular DLCs. Um, by buying these DLCs will allow you to get into places a lot quicker. So for example, this one, which in my opinion is probably the best DLC on the game, the Bass Boat Explorer Pack. You get the best boat on the game. You get a spinning rod and you get the reel that goes with it. You get some lures, different types of um, poppers and stuff, some weights and other things. And then it gives you 30 days to fish in Blue Crab Island, which is an amazing place to fish. You can catch fish in there up to like 155 pound fish 
tarpon, which are absolutely insane. So this DLC is not the cheapest. It's like 30 pounds, a little bit expensive, but 30 days you can fish in Blue Crab Islands. No matter what level you are, you're able to fish in Blue Crab Islands. Even if you're level one and you just want to go catch them big massive fish straight away, you can fish in Blue Crab Island for 30 days. That's real, real, real time. So that's exactly one month real time. 30 days and 30 days of premium as well, which allows you to earn extra cash and obviously extra XP. So 20 bait coins, 40,000 cash you get with it. Casting rod, real boat, line. So all of that, you're set up perfect. And then here you've got some offset hooks. Don't really use those. Some soft baits, they're always good to use. These poppers, this popper here using the major popper hash seven slash zero, that works perfect to catch tarpon at 155 pounds. So use that one. There's also hot spots of hell and where to catch certain fish. These buzz baits work really good. You also get a really good size net considering um, you're going to be starting off this game from, from new. You can hold a maximum of 551 pounds in the net, which is absolutely awesome. And then, yeah, Blue Crab Islands, you can fish there for 30 days. So one other thing to mention, if you go into settings, you can also change your settings. Now for me, I have mine set the way I like it set out just because this is me. I like to use pounds and feet, but you can use meters and kilograms by changing this one here. If you change it to metric, that will change it to when you catch the fish, they'll be in kilograms and um, yeah, so kilograms. And then for the other one, this one here, Imperial, which is the one that I use that changes it to pounds. That's just the way I prefer it, but again, it's completely all your choices. I always put my bubba size on big because I wear glasses and I'm almost blind. <laughs> so um, anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to fish down here. There's my guy. I've shown you my setups. I've showed you what I'm using. At any point, you could always pause the video and you could always copy exactly what I'm doing. So you wouldn't have a rod stand, but I'm going to use a rod stand just for this. Um, you start off with a rod stand number one. So you can hold one rod stand and hold one rod in your hand. And then you can get a rod stand that holds two rods, three rods. And then, of course, the best one is here, the rod stand that can hold four rods. Now, I know you probably won't be able to get this one, but I'm going to be using this one just to show you guys um, that I can catch fish here pretty quick pace. So I'm going to change my leader length to around about 18 inches, maybe. That might be okay. Let's check it out. So we cast. We can get snagged up like that if we do. There's no point in messing around with it. Just reel it, reel it in, cast back out there again. Let's try it again. So if you've got any comments at all, oh my gosh, well, I keep getting snagged. If you've got any comments at all, leave it in the comments section below, and I try my best to get back to you guys as quick as possible. When playing this game, there is hot spots. There's certain places where you can catch fish, so do bear that in mind. Again, if you need help with that, you can always look across the channel and I'm pretty sure you will find a video there somewhere. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. Drop a like if this video did help you out. So there's the level 10 rod, that one down there. Now the one that I've got in my hand now is a level, this is a level 5 rod, level 5 setup. So I'm going to cast this one quite far out there. I want to try and get some of the buffalo. I feel like buffalo is a good fish to catch. When you're a low level, buffalo is a good fish to catch to get on the grind. They give you good XP and good cash. I always recommend, as I said, not fish sponsored by Fishing Planet, but I always recommend for you guys to always buy premium. If you buy premium, it's a good thing to have to help you level up faster and to get that more cash. As you can see, I've got some of the best rods on the game here, but I'm not going to be using those for this video just because I want to get this one done for you. So there you go. We've got some interest there already. So this one I'm going to cast about 125 foot as well. I'm also going to set a marker, which I will show you how to do that as well. So I'm using three rods in total. I could have brought more, but I, I didn't want to overdo it i just wanted a couple more rods just to help you guys out on how and where and what gear i'm using to get set up so other things that i can recommend for you guys to do is to always use barbless hooks now some people even still to this day don't know but if you use barbless hooks it gives you 10 percent extra xp that doesn't matter if you've got premium or not now if you use the if you use them barbless hooks, you're going to get extra 10% XP. So always, always use those. Definitely recommend that. I don't know if there's a fish on there. It keeps beeping. Let me have a look. 
Okay, no, it's not. But that's all right. I'll reel that in and I'll recast that back out again. So I'm hoping to get some buffalo through this video. If I don't manage to catch it whilst I'm recording right now, I'll make a couple of edits into the video and show you guys. But hopefully I can catch it just whilst I'm, I'm here like this. I really want to get them buffalo just to show you. Let's cast this one out. So the good thing is with this rod as well is that you can get some serious distance on casting. And I want to cast around about 120 to 125 foot out there because that's where the buffalo are. Okay, we've got a little bit of interest on that level 10 float rod. I don't, probably don't really recommend that rod, to be honest. It's not really it's not really a great rod, but these rods here, the Creek Pro, when you're starting off from the very beginning, these are actually really good rods to use. Considering as they're, they're only level 5, they are, yeah, they are really, really good. So always look out for other things like... Um, Lily pads are always a good sign where fish are going to be hiding out. Bits of wood sticking out of the water, that's also going to be another good spot of where fish could hide out. There is spinning that you can do. I didn't bother to do spinning for this one. I just wanted to do bait just to show you guys uh, me catching on bait. So that rod's tilted over a little bit. Okay, nothing there. Let me reset that back out. So you shouldn't have to wait too long. If you're sitting here and you're waiting too long to catch a fish, that's normally a sign or an indication that you could be using the wrong line, the wrong hook, or the wrong bait. Now, a, another big tip that helps out a lot, you can come here to the map, you can come to fish species, which is just there, click that, and it will tell you what fish are in this lake, as well as what fish are in this lake. It will tell you what bait they like. So if you click on them, it tells you there, preferred baits and what types of spinning if you're doing spinning and as we scroll down here for the buffalo this is what we're after semolina bulls corn mayflies and bloodworms but just because it says those four it does not mean that you can't catch it on something else so again on that one i'm using bread and honey and then on that one i've got the is that semolina bulls on this one let me just check this one up. i'm sure it is yeah okay so we've got semolina bulls on that one you don't have to if you don't have a rod stand you can always stand there like this with the rod in your hand which i'm pretty sure if you're new to this game you are going to be standing there with the rod in your hand you can also put a bell on the rod as you can see there i've got that little yellow bell on the top so that does help out as well Obviously, if you've got those, that gives you a bite alarm, which a bite alarm is always a good thing to have as well. Okay, so I'm now at the point where I'm waiting. I'm not going to wait too long because we should be getting interest now. So there's lots of different places around that you can look all across the lake as well. Another thing recommended is if you fish five days, it gives you some bait coins and it gives you some free markers. Now, the free markers are... If you pull out your pad, your mini pad for this, I, I press Y because I'm using an Xbox controller. But again, if you don't know which button it is, you can always go into the settings and it, it will tell you what button it is there to pull out your little mini tablet. But as you can see, I'm fishing here and I'm trying to cast into this area here. That's, where I, that's what I'm going for. I'm hoping I haven't gone in between, which I think I probably have gone in between that a little bit. So I'm going to quickly reel this one in and cast it a little bit more to the left and then reset that one and cast it a little bit more to the right so them darker blue bits they're called holes and that is where some fish are going to be hiding out so keep an eye out for them little holes they really do they really do help so there's quite a few of those in here there's one there there's one there one over there and then as you can see it's quite a big hole up there so these little dark blue round areas is where fish are going to be hiding so let me cast this one a little bit more off to the left. And then I'm going to reel in the other one and reset that one. So to set markers, you can also do that. So when you catch a fish, you can set a marker for that fish. And then once you've set a marker for that, I'm actually glad at the minute that I haven't actually caught anything because more than anything else at the minute, okay, I strike too early. That's fine. Yeah, more than anything at the minute, I'm just trying to show you different things and explain to you a little bit more in detail. Normally, my videos wouldn't go on this long, but this one is, as, as I said, it's for them people who are new to the game. So, didn't really have too much interest on there. So, I'm going to change that to a hook two for them semolina balls. So, that one I've got cast over there to the left, and then I'm going to cast this one kind of like about there. 
but just further out. About 125 foot, 120 foot. That's kind of what I'm going for. Trying to get some of those small mouth buffalo. You can also adjust if you look down there on the bottom, on the bottom right there. If I press up and down, that changes my reel speed. Now, if I press the left or right D-pad button, as you can see there down on the bottom right, you can see that's moving. Now, as what that is, that's drag on the reel. You don't want that set to the max all the time because if you have that set to the max all the time and you get a fish on, you can end up actually breaking your line. So probably always best, no matter what setup you use, to always start off with it being halfway. And then over time, if your bars on the side, then when you get a fish, if then bars don't go right up to the top, and then you can obviously add more power to your reel. Now, you don't want to, as I said, ha add too, too much power at the beginning, because if you do, you're going to end up snapping off your line or snapping your leader, if you're using a leader, and you don't want to be doing that. So to set a fish for, a, if you catch a fish and you want to set a marker for that, you can pull out your tablet and it says marking mode so you can press X I'm not gonna do that yet cuz I haven't got a fish but once I've got a fish I will then set a marker so that way anytime I come back to this place if I wanted to catch that same fish again I could pull out my tablet look at my marker it would tell me what bait I'm using and what time roughly that I caught it early morning afternoon late afternoon it would tell me all of that good info that I need to know all right so so far I think I've pretty much covered everything other than the fish. We haven't got the fish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't quite know what is happening right now. I'm not getting those fish. Okay, let me reel this one in. This one we did have some interest. I wonder if the bait's gone off that. We've got 275 there. Okay, still 275. So we've had no interest yet. So casting over that way, way, way far over there, about 130 foot. That will give us a chance to get the buffalo over that way this rod always keep, keeps on seeming like it's bent over a little bit so I've waited here now for a, a little bit not too long but I've waited here for a, a short minute so because of that I've had no interest so is what I'm now gonna do is I'm now gonna move location and the reason why is because I now know that I'm using the right line you can also catch a certain amount of junk items like this and that will also give you bait coins as well the bait coins are very handy I wanted to fish here first and catch nothing to show you guys the difference between a good spot and being in a bad spot. So we've had no interest. I've used bread and honey. I should have at least caught something with that. There's loads of different types of bait you can use. And as I said, you can always go to fish species and you could check out there what types of bait they like to use. But just because you're using other baits doesn't mean it won't work because it will. So now I'm going to come back to the map. And I'm going to head over there. So now I'm going to show you whereabouts I am on the map here. Light up orange, as you can see there. A picture of my guy with, it, with his rod in his hand. So now I'm going to head over this way a little bit. And I'm going to get set up here near this little bit here. Because there's some lily pads there, which I can cast my short rod to, which can't cast very far. Then, as you can see, I'm here. So I can cast into this deep area. So I'm going to put down my rod stand again. I know you guys won't have a rod stand at this point. But I'm just using it just because I'm being greedy. I want more rods out. So that way I can try and catch more fish through this video. So casting off a little bit to the left. I'm going to do that. So this one I'm going to cast out there. Each time I'm going to put it around about 100. About 120 maybe even maybe like 130 foot I'm gonna cast that out there just because I want to be in that area of this of this deep hole here that's how I'm gonna catch these fish so look for lily pads whenever you're fishing look for bits of wood sticking out of the water sometimes you can even see the fish jumping out of the water and moving around as well so if you see any movement on the water again it's another good indication of where fish are gonna be hiding out so Always keep an eye out for those. And it works like that for every single lake. Even being in the very, very best lake. You want to look out for them. This one I'm going to leave about 140 foot out there. Just a little bit further. And then where was that one? There you go. There it is. So this is the level 10. I'm going to put it just behind these lily pads here. There we go. 
and there's all different types of like um, bobbers and things that you can use you don't have to use that Pacific float that I'm using I'm just using that because that's what I have to hand and as you can see I've also got a headlight I can turn that on and off if I wanted to now for the headlight to get the headlight you need to fish in the night time so do some nighttime fishing and you'll get that headlight for free so pretty easy so here's our first fish as you can see I didn't wait too long for that one I actually caught that pretty quick so being near lily pads is a good thing to do it's only a small fish but then when you're starting off playing this game yeah that's all you're going to be catching is small fish you're not going to be catching any big massive monsters unfortunately if i'm honest this game at the very beginning it is a little bit of a slow grind and it's not too fun <laughs> but as you progress through there is better lakes where you can catch obviously bigger fish and it becomes more fun so we got snagged up there I could cut the line, but I'm, I don't want to cut the line because otherwise that will make me lose all of my setup. And then I'll have to reset it back up again. So I'm just going to reel it in, cast back out there again, just like that. There you go. That one didn't get snagged up that time. Perfect. All right. So now let me remove that mission thing there. Untracked. There we go. So there's all different missions you can do as well by doing certain missions. They are going to give you free things. They're going to give you some free bait, uh, free bait coins, some free cash. Also, different types of lures, different types of baits, lots of different things. So, it's, re it's recommended to do all missions in all different lakes. I've got all those videos all across the channel. If you want to find them, you can look through. And also, another big tip is also to fish 30 days. Now, that does sound like a lot, but... If you fish 30 days in every single lake that you fish in, if you fish for 30 days, you'll then get a free item from that lake. So that's one thing that you should do. Every lake that you do fish, fish for 30 days in that lake, and then that way you are going to be able to, you're going to be able to get that better, that better free gear, which most of the time it is classed as X series. X series is probably the better stuff to use. Well, not probably, it is the better stuff to use. So again, it's been it's being a little bit slow. I've waited a little minute and we've still had no interest. So now I'm gonna show you something else. We've had one fish on that float rod, but by now we should have already had some interest on these two rods here. Again, is what I'm trying to do is show you the slow pace of fishing and then the fast pace of fishing. Now, if you do it right, you will be catching at a fast pace. If you're doing it wrong, you will be catching at a slow pace. There's certain hot spots to find these fish. There you go. We've got another fish on this rod, which is good. But again, still not on the other two rods. So there's another red deer sunfish. Only a small one. Was that another? Did we have the same one? Um, okay, now the other one. Yeah, green sunfish. That was a red deer sunfish. All right. So if we go here to the main menu, as you can see there, there's peak times. Peak times is where you catch those fish that little bit quicker. So as you can see, it's lit up kind of like a yellow just here. So from 11 a.m. to around about 7 p.m., that's where it's going to be a better time to fish. So it's what we're going to do is we're going to change the time. I hit X because, again, I'm using the Xbox controller, but you can obviously go into the settings and find out how to change the time if you need to on the keyboard it would be you press t yeah t and then on um on ps4 you would press square to take the time forward so there you go that's the buttons that you use so now i'm at midday so now i'm at the perfect time for fishing we're now at peak times of fishing so now we shouldn't have a problem trying to catch those fish now so I'm now going to cast back out again. I want it to be out quite far because I'm looking for that that deep hole area. Maybe maybe we'll have it even further. Let's have that at 150. I do like these rods, even though they're very low end level rods, level five. They still are really good because you can get some proper distance on casting with these. So again, I'm going to have a quick look at my mini map. So as you can see, I'm there, so I can cast straight forward into the deep hole. We had a bit of interest there, it died off. Never be in a rush to pick up your rod either, because if you pick up your rod too quick, that's going to end up making you lose the fish. So try and be patient. That one I'm going to leave around about 170 foot. 
just so that way it's definitely going to be in this area that's where i want it to be okay so as you can see you got some interest on that some interest on that straight away and again the way to, the way to do that is to always make sure that you're fishing at peak times i wanted to show you that slow pace of fishing first so i'm pretty sure this is going to be a buffalo so i'm going to reel that one in a little bit put it down start reeling in this rod and then I'm going to reel this one in a little bit. Then I'm going to put that down and pick up the other rod. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to do this because you probably ain't going to have a rod stand. But I'm just doing this because if you don't have a rod, if you do have a rod stand and you do it this way, sometimes you're lucky enough to get both fish. You reel this rod in a little bit, you put it down, then you reel in the other one a little bit. But I'm just going to stick with this one now. I'm going to keep on reeling this one in. Have a look. The other rods go in. You see how much more interest we've got? How much more the rods are going off? All the rods are going off right now. So fishing peak times. Now, if I was over there where I was in the very beginning, I would have caught fish if I was at a peak time. But I wanted to show you me moving location. It was still a slow pace. But then, as soon as I come to that peak time of fishing, I've got loads of interest on every single rod. So there we go. Green sunfish. We still yet haven't got that um, that buffalo that I'm looking for, but in good time we will. Okay, another fish on this rod. Let's have a look at this one. Another green sunfish, red deer. Okay, let me go back to the Creek Pro. I want that one to be out first because I'm pretty sure this is going to be the one that I catch that buffalo on. Now, the reason why I keep on talking about buffalo is because they are probably going to be the main fish in this lake that I would recommend for you to fish for more than anything else. By fishing for those, that is what's gonna get you some good cash and some fast XP. If you can and you don't mind, then obviously do buy premium. As I said, that's probably the best thing to do. Even me now, I am max level. I can't get any higher level than what I am. And then once you hit max level, you then start turning into ranks. So rank 1, rank 2, rank 3. The ranks don't mean anything at all. So I wouldn't be bothered or worried too much about ranking up. Because ranking is just when you've hit max level, you then start getting into ranks. Again, you don't earn anything from ranks or anything like that. So it means nothing. But as you progress through from level 1 to 2, 3, 4 and so on. As you level up you get free gifts, you get free stuff. So you get some free bait coins, you get some some other free things, some free cash and stuff like that. So every time you level up, you know that you're going to get that extra little bit more of a boost of cash or something that's going to help you along the way. Here we go, got some more interest again. Don't think this is a buffalo. I'm pretty sure it would be um, a little bit bigger than this, but that's all right. We're still catching at a little bit of a faster pace. And again, that is because I've now changed the time. So always look at peak times. Always go to fish species and always look to see what sort of baits they like. Then that way you can kind of get a rough idea of the fish that you're after. So there we go. There's a golden shiner. That's something a little bit different. They don't go very big. You can also catch bass in here. But again, they don't go up to a very big size. So... That's why, at the minute, I'm trying to catch us some buffalo to show you guys those. They're called smallmouth buffalo. And I could always hear fish species. If I wanted to catch something else, I could always look for something else. So look, semolina balls and corn, and then this one here for the spotted bass tells me small minnows, white crappy. And then there's also catfish as well, which is for the pet food as well. So, yeah definitely recommended for you to always look at this if you are a new player over time the more you play this game you will learn what sort of things the fish like and then eventually you won't even need to look at that at all okay so i keep getting interest on this rod but i haven't had any interest on that rod there on the left so that tells me that i should reel that one in recast it back out and find another spot but there's me saying that and now we've finally got some interest on it. And it's a good job we did because I would have reeled that in. I wouldn't have waited too long. You shouldn't be waiting too long at peak times. When you're at peak times, you should be catching at a faster pace. So another golden shiner there. Both of these rods are going off. 
Anytime I do live streams, I always use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I always just randomly hit record, and these always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. I do that just because it's quicker. It's not as time-consuming. I do normally live stream every day. So um, if you're interested in Fishing Planet, it's a good reason to subscribe, turn notifications on when them updates drop for this game. I'm always here buying DLC DLCs and showing you all the new gear. So another blue gear. Well, I say another. I think that's our first blue gear, but anyway, that's all right. Yeah, I always buy the DLCs for the new map, and I always give my honest opinion whether I think it was worth me spending my money or if it's worth you guys spending your money to buy the same DLC as what I've got to go into the new lake. I do that so that way you guys don't have to spend your own money and I also do it for the new content as well. I do love this game when the new updates drop. I've played lots of different fishing games over the years and this is by far the best fishing game I've ever played. Not only it's free, but um, you can also chat with people as well by opening up the chat down there in the bottom. You can chat with people and... For the most of it, this is quite a friendly game. Obviously, you do get a few people that do rage here and there, but if you know what you're doing and you you play the game right, and then this game be can become really, really great fun. You can play it with your friends as well. Now, on, on P I'm not sure about Xbox, but on PS4, you can have up to five people in one room. If you're playing on PC... And then you can have up to 10 people in the same room. So you can, yeah, you can fish with your friends as well as fishing with your friends. You can fish with random people. Or if you don't want to do any, you can even go make here, go to here and make a friends only room or a private room so nobody else can join. So that's the other good thing about it as well is that if people get on your nerves a little bit, you can always leave and go into your own private room where people get in your way. That's another thing that you can do, always go to your own private room. So that's that's a really good thing to do. I'm trying to think of other things that I can try and give you as tips, but the only other thing I can suggest, people always say, what rod should I buy when I hit level 10, level 20, level 30, and all of that stuff. In my opinion, the best thing that I always recommend, like they say, what rod should I buy, or what reel, or what setup. The best thing to do is always buy the best thing that you can for your level. So, example, if you're level 5, buy all the best level 5 gear. So that's that rod there and the reels that I've got on and the line that I've got on. I've brought the best that I can for level 5. And then when you're level 10, like this one is level 10, buy the best gear that you can for level 10. And that's what I recommend no matter what level you are. No matter what level you are, doesn't matter if you're 5, 10, 20, 30, whatever level you are. If you want to know what the best rod to buy for your level, the best rod to buy for your level is whatever level you are. Go, don't ever buy it from the shop here. If you buy it from the shop here, it's going to be really expensive and it's not going to show you all of the rods that are available for you. So always go back to the main home menu and buy it there. It's going to be cheaper and it will show you more options for you to buy more stuff. So definitely recommend going back to the home main menu to buy anything at all. The only thing I would personally buy here if I was fishing and I forgot something is maybe bait. If I forgot anything else, then I would go straight back to the main menu and then the home menu, and then I would buy it there. That's that's just the best thing to do. That is definitely the best thing to do. Okay, another golden shiner there. Got a fish on there. I think we had a bit of interest on that other rod there. It was beeping a little bit. Oh, another golden. Okay, no green sunfish. You can also take pictures and if you hit X or if you hit square on PS4, you can also change it as well so that you can see yourself here like this. Then you can take a screenshot if you wanted as well. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. Okay, so I'm going to cast this one back out again. So that's what I'm now going to do. Now I've spoken about all the rods and different setups. I'm going to show you the rod again. That one's for the level 10 setup. You can buy exactly the same stuff as me. Or if you're a level 5, this is a very good rod. Even if you was level 10, do I recommend buying that rod? Probably not. I would say to stick with this one here for a little while until you're a, hot, a lot higher level. So yeah, Creek Pro. And then that's the open feeder that I'm using. That's the line that I'm using. That's the reel that I'm using. And again, you can always pause the video at any point 
to whatever you, to whatever you want. So going in here to the shop, if you can buy different things here from the shop, these baits. There's a lot more baits that are available, but for me to do that, as you can see up here, I'd have to click on leave and go back to the main menu for me to buy more different baits. That's just the best way to do it, in my opinion, because it won't show all baits there and it won't show you everything that you need or everything that you, you want to get. So picking that rod down all right so i'm going to make an edit and then i'll bring you guys back when i get some buffalo on i've changed where i was casting to still in the same place but i cast around about 90 uh, about 100 foot out there it was that time so here we go what's this we have black tail shiner okay so we got some interest on this rod the level 10 rod i changed that put on some pet food just to show you guys some catfish, young channel catfish. And again, that I caught in really close, just around here. Pet food, hash four hook, that's on the level 10 setup. So there's that one. We got a fish on, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the buffalo. It looks like it's fighting quite well. So another thing to mention is that you also should be buying a license for this lake. I probably should have said that in the beginning, but anyway. Buy a license for the lake, because if you don't have a license, you will not be able to keep the fish, and you will get fined. So... Um, don't take a chance on trying to keep the fish there's really no point you can buy a license at the very beginning of the lake um, before you even come into the lake you can buy it so probably do that if not and you forgot to buy a license and you're already in the lake you can still buy a license for being in the lake that you're in you can go into the settings and you can buy it there which I will show you in a minute so as you can see here I put my real speed down to real speed free if I had it any higher than that my line would actually snap off. Now, I say my line, it's my leader that's let me down here because I've got the line that's at £4 and the leader is at £2.6. So, if I had a stronger leader, I could actually make my reel speed, um, the, the tension on the reel, I could make it tighter so it doesn't pull out as much line. But unfortunately, for being level 5, this is a complete level 5 setup. I have to use what I've got, which is this. It will take me a little minute to reel in, as you can see it's taken a short moment, but we will eventually get it in, you've got to be patient. Don't You don't want them bars to go up into the red, because if it goes too far up into the red it will snap off. But at the same time, you don't want them bars to be too low down at the bottom, because if they're too low down, you can lose the fish by having too much slack. Or you can lose the fish by having too much too much strain on the fish. So you've got to balance it just right. And the setup that I've got is perfect, but I, I just need a better leader. But I couldn't buy the better leader because I wanted it to be. I wanted to show you what you're able to buy for a level five setup. I hope this video has helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep an eye out for new updates. Hit when you hit the bell. Make sure it says all. Oh, otherwise, when those new updates come out on this game. You are going to miss out, and you don't want to miss out on them. I'm going to set a marker also for this fish as well. I'm not sure if that is a buffalo at this point. It actually does look kind of different, but um, I don't know. I guess only time's going to tell. Take your time when you're reeling them in. Don't rush it too much, because these fish do give pretty good cash and XP for low-level people such as yourself. So there you go. Look at that. Three pound fish, 101, 101, 103 cash. And 59 XP. It doesn't look like too much to me because obviously I'm max level. But if you're a lower level and you catch that fish, um, yeah, you can catch those all day long. You can always move around on the lake as well when you're catching those fish. Okay, so to set a marker, we hit Y to pull out our mini pad. And then I press X and then I press OK. And then that shows me there. I caught it at midday on a sunny day. I caught it using semolina balls. So... So then we press back, we can zoom in there, and we can see there it's part of this big round dark blue bit here, like I said, there it is, and here I am just on the side of the bank there. So I'm going to now close that, I'm going to I put a hash four on catching that, so if we come along here to the shop, we can go, al can go along here, if you did buy the license at the beginning of it, you can come here, go to licenses, and we can buy it here. So don't bother buying the basic license because that will not allow you to keep every fish. You always want to go for the advanced license. It costs that little bit more, but you're able to keep every single fish. Now, if I, for example, 
brought the license, the basic one, if I brought the basic one there, I would have not been able to keep that buffalo because that is for an advance because it's a bigger fish. So yeah, very, very important that you do that. So now as you can see, there's a marker set right there. So that actually makes things easier for you guys if you set a marker because now I've set a marker, I can cast to exactly that. Now if I hit RB or R1 on PS4 controller, you can then see there, you can zoom in and out and I want to cast to there to where that marker is and every time I get to that marker which is around about anything between 90 foot to 100 foot then we can put the rod down there we can come back out of zoom mode and I can now reel this one in because I did have a fish on there whilst I had a fish on the other rod I had a fish on this one and I ended up losing it so because I lost it now I might as well reel it in and recast it back out and the reason why doing that is because it's not going to be in the same position as where it was and sometimes it can even take your bait and in this case it did actually take my bait I've now got 214 bait there I did have 215 so casting it to position cast you would push LT or um, R L2 on PS4 controller or if you're using a mouse you would use the um, the left click button first and then after the right button to cast it to the position of whereabouts you want it to be oh there we go a <laughs> little bit all over the place there so yeah any comments on the game at all for any level lake you can always ask me and i'll help you out the best way i can i'm going to catch one more fish here real time i'm not making any more edits now so I want to catch one fish real time. We're at 3.09 or well 3.10 p.m. in the afternoon now coming towards the evening. And I actually haven't caught a bad amount of fish. Look at that. I've got 26.6 pounds. So just over 26.5 pounds of fish that I've caught within this day. And again, I have jumped forward times. And I did also show you me fishing over at that location and showing you me fishing without being in the peak times normally starting from 5 a.m 5 a.m takes you to the next day so if i wanted to jump to day two i would then go to hit it but as you can see there it says you can't open the menu when the rod is in cast so if i wanted to change to the next day none of my lines can't be in the water because otherwise that will not allow you to go to the next day but yeah, if you jump to 5 a.m., 5 a.m. always starts you off from the next day. Another new day, which would be day two. Always fish 30 days every lake because you get that free gift that you're looking for. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not buffalo. No, it's not white crappy, but that's fine. So now I'm going to jump back to the main menu here. I'm going to go to leave. And if I wanted to buy anything, as I said, you would always buy it by going back to the main menu here like I am now. The reason why you want to do that is because it's going to be cheaper and it's not always going to show you everything you need. Now to repair your gear as well, if you wonder how to repair your stuff if your stuff gets damaged, go back to the main menu and then it will pop up on the screen for you to repair your gear. Never let your stuff get to the point where it, it breaks. If it breaks, you are unable to repair it. If it completely breaks, you cannot repair it. You have to buy the item all over again. So. Do bear that in mind as well so when you go to no matter what lake you go to it says here as you can see it says license here always click on the license always go to buy the advanced license buy click on the advanced license and then click buy that's it that's how you buy that and then for when you go into the shop as you can see here watch it brings up so many more rods that are available to buy and that's because now I'm in the home main menu if you're not in the home main menu it will not show all of these hot rods that you're able to buy now this is being the best best rod um, best bottom rod best um, float rod and then we have best spinning rod all of the best rods I've got different videos on those and how to use max drag without your line break and I even did a live stream on that on how to max drag so you can always check those videos out as well I think I pretty much covered everything that I can think of. Rocky Lake is a very good lake to get to when you're level 5. You can go in there and you can catch yourself some trout. Trout give pretty good XP. And also the Colorado there, you can also get some of that. Um, cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, the white bass, not so much XP. But there, there, that one is a good one. So you can, you can catch flies with that one. 
that one there's flies so you want to go in there with a lot of flies that's good and again with hook sizes it's all about just testing different types of hooks and you will figure out which works best you don't want to go too big hooks when you're fishing these low lakes falcon lake is another good one when you're level 14 you can go in there and you can catch some brown trout some cutthroat trout the um, red band rainbow and smallmouth bass are pretty cool to catch as well and then moving on when you level different levels oh, okay hold on i'm pressing all the wrong buttons right now there we go also emerald lake is a good place to catch walleye you've only got to be level eight to go there you can catch yourself a lot of the pipe which give pretty good xp also the sorga and the walleye as well so they're very good fish to catch when you're low level and you can't get to a high lake that's level eight that one there is level four rocky lake so for me i would fish at lone star lake once i move up to i would fish there probably until i hit level five i wouldn't bother with mud water mud water you gotta be level four but it's not a very good lake so i'd probably stick with lone star but then i would then move to rocky lake then emerald lake but then I would move to Falcon Lake after Falcon Lake. Uh, I would then try and get to level 18 to get here to into Everglades. That's going to be your best bet where you're going to level up insanely fast in there. Like really, really fast pace. So catching bonefish, uh, bonefin, sorry. Catching some of these butterfly peacock bass as unique. They give insane XP and cash for low levels. The channel catfish are pretty good. Common snook again as unique. So they give... If you catch uniques, they give you a lot more XP and cash, so that's what you're trying to go after. But then the Florida Gar is in there, which also give you really good XP and cash, same as these largemouth bass and the Red Drum. The Red Drum you probably wouldn't be able to catch when you're level 18 because they are quite big fish and it would be a struggle to reel in. Not impossible, but it would be a struggle. And then the Tarpon as well. They are pretty good sized fish and they give you a good fight. Hope this video did help you out. Any questions, comments, you can always leave it below. You can also move around on the map here. As you can see, there's, these are the better lakes here, the top end lakes over here. And then if we move the globe around, there's also a few other lakes here, which Weeping Willow is a perfect spot for catching a lot of the carp. That one there is level 12 lake, it's okay, it's not too bad, and then here we've got a level 11, a level 3 lake should I say. Again, I wouldn't bother fishing there, it's not a very great lake, Timber River, and then also here. But you can always fish these just to catch different types of fish. I know this video did go on insanely long, <laughs> normally they're only 10 minute videos, but I wanted to cover everything for those beginners. Any comments leave below and I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as I possibly can. Subscribe if you're new, keep an eye out for those new updates, live streams and videos that I push out. We play other fishing games, this is the main fishing game and this is the main game that I play more than anything else. Every now and again I do show other new games as well, you can always check those out. And uh, we also do random unboxing videos, electric bikes, electric scooters, all different types of different things on the channel to keep it fresh content. Don't forget to drop a like, we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out. And I thought of one last thing to mention actually, when you buy stuff from the shop, sometimes it does move to your home storage, so if you click over it, click on your inventory, go to home storage, then you can move it from your home storage into your backpack, or if you've got too much in your backpack, you can always move it from your backpack to your home storage, that's the way it works as well. I forgot to mention that part, you can also go to the shop, and if you come to here, tools, uh, which one is it hold on hold on is it this one yeah okay so if you go to here tools and equipment you can then here buy bigger nets as well and you can also buy other things like backpacks and vests that's going to allow you to take more tackle and gear with you when you go fishing you can obviously buy these as well which allows you to hold more than one rod because you, you when you start off with you'll only have low end gear so that there will allow you to hold two rods and two reels for a level three and then obviously you can buy that for a level five which allow you to take tackles and more line and then obviously as you progress through and you level up more you'll then be able to buy the best net and you can also buy this as well so yeah obviously different rod stands you can also buy these stringers instead of a net which works the same as a net but they just call it a stringer and you can buy different rod stands and all that good stuff i think i have pretty much covered it all now <laughs> anyway 
Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.